Celtic squad standing behind Celtic FC manager's principles. The key message coming out of the Celtic FC dressing room since Livingston draw. Celtic FC bossed Livingston, but still lacked that creative spark to cut them open. Plenty of crosses were fired into the penalty area, but outside of the late penalty miss, Max Strijek had very little to do in the away team's goal. As you would expect then, Celtic have come in for plenty of criticism. Missing the chance to go top of the table and seeing us now trail by four points will do that. It's part and parcel of football in Scotland. But, even if there are any internal inquests after the stalemate, the squad are certainly still backing the principles put in place by Angie Postacogla. Firstly we had Callum McGregor coming out post-match to say the following via Celtic TV, it's important that we don't dwell on it too much. We've been on a good run. Played some great football and got some great results. So we'll learn from it and look at where we can be better. We'll try and create more chances but I think we did enough to win the game. Then it was hot as turn hours later as he said the following in his post-match comments. I'd rather be in this team than the other team that has 10 or 15% of possession. So, yes, we just have to stick to our principles and do our game, keep possession, find the spaces, score goals and be aggressive. That's our way of playing. Today was not our day, we couldn't score. But we have plenty more games to come. Celtic squad standing behind Angie Postacogla principles. And finally, Cameron Carter Vickers echoed similar remarks after the game. He was another quick to build up what Celtic are trying to do under the new manager. The USA International said, the way we play is the way we believe will bring us the most success and the players are all right behind that. That's what we want to do, that's what we try to do and that's what we'll keep doing. We can all debate what went wrong on Saturday. Undoubtedly a lack of creativity through the central areas was a big issue. The same goes for a failure to choose our best players with the likes of Kyogo starting the game on the bench. But there's clearly no disillusionment within the squad. Within the space of 48 hours we've had three of our most influential players come out and launch an immediate and unforced defence of the style being deployed under Angie. If anything, at least we don't have to concern ourselves with a lack of team unity. Could we really have said the same last season? Hopefully, that unity leads to a swift response when Celtic travel to Hungary for Thursday's Europa League encounter with Ferenc Varos. In other news no Huns at the New Year game and the Scottish mainstream media threw OU the dummy. SPFL Rule I-27 reads, the home club must make provision for the admission of such reasonable number of visiting supporters at every home league match and playoff match as may be agreed in advance with the visiting club and, in the event of their being unable to agree on such number not later than 14 days prior to the date of the league match or playoff match in question, the number of visiting supporters allowed shall be determined by the board whose decision shall be final and binding. One thing for sure if we Fergus was still in charge, that lot would have been put to bed years ago. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.